So we're in the hills of Midcoast Wales. At about a thousand feet. Um, at a on a small holding on the edge of a very of a little village. Um, and we're halfway between Aberystwyth and Lampeter. Means nothing to most people. And we're at the home of a potter and a kiln form glassmaker. I was a fan of Ian's for quite a few years before I ever met him. But, you know, really liked his work. I had this little Ian Riley collection. So I, you know, phoned the gallery and uh, to get his number, how to, you know, get in touch with him. She uh, ordered some beakers that uh, her sister years ago had bought some and had obviously broken them and then wanted some replacements. So Paula phoned me up and said, can I make some? I was there for an hour and a half and we babbled incessantly the pair of us. So I bit the bullet and asked him out, which is a good thing because he's really shy. We tend to use the same space. I don't think we're all, we're working on separate things a lot of the time. We're both kind of quiet. You know, I don't, we don't constantly need any feedback from each other. We both just get on with what we're doing. Uh, we do talk about what we're doing. You know, if we have an idea, we'll discuss it. Um, especially in the mornings over coffee, you know, when you, eating breakfast and you get the side and you get the, you know, the scrap paper comes out and we, and we do talk about ideas. It's nice to just be working in a space with somebody else who's being creative. I got so drawn to glass. I don't, it's not friendly. It's not like I mean, clay so nice, it's smooth and nice to work with. And glass cut you, and it's temperamental. Although what we do is very different, his work is much more um, geometrically based. He likes symmetry. I don't. I want. I just want something to spill off the edge, and it bugs Ian. But it doesn't matter. Because those are just, it's, you know, we're different people. And that's who he is. And, and that's who I am. But our approach is the same, I think. I wouldn't say I make a lot of money. I, we survive. We survive, yeah. That's kind of it. It's a bit of a juggling act to balance all of the demands of what we do because there's the demands of work. You've got to, well, you want to do it, but it's also making a living. Um, and the demands of the animals and the land. And But because we have the chickens, we have those eggs and we sell the excess and that covers the cost of having the chickens and the cows when they give us calves. You know, you have those to sell and you have the milk to drink. I think of the garden for me as part, I'm providing an income. It's an income in food. I must admit, I do like something that's handcrafted and that's well made and, all that kind of stuff, and I think there's always a place for that. Neither of us are production workers, because um, there are like production craftspeople, 
you know, you have it's like a little mini factory, and you're cranking things out, and you, you know, and that, and, and it's that business that's the thing, and, and it's an involvement with each individual piece. Even if you're doing something that's, but you know, you're repeating a concept, it's still different each time. You know, the society is changing. Isn't it? It's all going computerized. You know, well, you know, and that's for some people. It's not for everybody. It's not easy necessarily to be a potter, an artist, or craft work or whatever, because you may not make a lot of money, but of course, that may not be what you're bothered about anyway. You know, if somebody loves what you do, it inspires them and they're happy, that's enough. I don't need public recognition. That's always, that's it, that's, there's nothing really more to say. Yeah, so I'm just a potter. If it's what's important to you, which is what's important to us, is to be able to express your creativity, combine that with uh, in a country that we love living in and the uh, landscape and the garden and the animals and the whole just uh, we have the perfect life which of course yeah. it has up and down like the life does be born if it's always the same is born.